Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I got Sister Chick Lacquer Dirty Laundry, and I'm going to do some double stamping. I've started off with Neltique's Formula 2, and here is the gorgeous Dirty Laundry by Sister Chick. This is the other green in the collection. It's more of a tealy green, though. Kind of, I don't know, with all that hollow going on, it's really hard to tell. But as usual, it's got a flawless formula. I did cap my tip first. I like to do that on some polishes. Um, keeps the end from looking uh, like it's been capped. <laughs> kind of makes it more seamless. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. And I do like it like that. So, look at that. That could be a totally a one-coater. But y'all know I'm going to go in for that second coat. And here it is. <laughs> I just... I'm a two-coat girl. I just can't help myself. Beautiful. Oh, my goodness. Camera's just not doing it justice. I will be talking, topping it with the Marvel Liquid Macro Top Coat from Sister Chick. It's just the one that I prefer to use. I figure, you know, I've got it, and I want to use it over her polishes. They're a match made in heaven. But if you don't have this top coat, use your favorite. I'll be using this Ajibus plate today. I am crazy in love with these plates. And the Beauty Big Bang 011 Gold Polish. Let's get this plastic wrap off of here. I'll be also using that Conad Stamper and my Clear Jelly Scraper today. I'll give this a quick wipe down with some acetone and a paper towel. <laughs> But this is the EJB06, I believe. If I'm wrong, I'll correct myself. I love this pattern right here. I love that it's got that center open design. Now, as usual, this is going to be like kind of light stamping because the colors are so very similar. But in real life, and even here on film, you can see it. You can totally see it. It doesn't disappear. I, um, you know, I don't, just, just to be honest, I don't do, some, some manicures I put a lot of thought into and they've been floating around in my head, but sometimes I'll just sit down and I just play. I grab whatever's nearby, um, whatever's on top and just go with it. And if I don't end up liking it, it's just nail polish, wear it for a couple of days and move on to the next manicure. Now, I'm not saying I didn't like this one. I'm just saying this this one was not one of those that I had floating around in my head for days and days. This is just one I sat down, started grabbing stuff, and doing it. But the image on this plate is coming up very nicely. I am uh, really impressed with how deeply etched these plates are. Like I said when I showed them, you're going to be seeing a lot of them. And here we go. So there we go. I'll be, again, using the EJB06. But I think it's the other side of the plate. I'll be using the On the Black Stamping Polish from Braves Diva. And I'm going to do these little stars. I guess they're stars. Down the center. And I'm going to try to line one up in the center of those empty circles on the gold. I nail it on a couple of nails and then not so much on others. Like I said, it's just nail polish. I'm not worried about it. I do like it. Maybe not my favorite, but I do really like it. <laughs> Here we go. I'll try to line that up. I just wanted to give this kind of a layered look and, um, you know, see what I could do because I was playing. I was playing a bunch. Just get back in that little mani cape and just do whatever. And even though it wasn't my favorite manicure ever, I have worn it, let me see, four or five days? No, five days. It's been five days. Yeah, so that just tells you I did like it. <laughs> and I've been busy. <laughs> Liked it enough and busy enough that it stayed. So there we go. I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup with some tape. And you know I've had trouble with this gold coming up before, but today 
for whatever reason, it's popping up really well with the tape. I think it really has to do with what's on my skin, what's around my cuticles already. I, I don't know. And now I'm going to go in with my little cleanup brush and some acetone. Just clean this up a little bit better. And my nails are not my nails, but my cuticles and fingers and everything, all my skin is just so dry. So I have broke out, you'll see it over to the side, my Baroness X Cuticle Balm. I will be applying that today. Um, I really do like this one. It starts off a little shiny, but it dulls down real fast or soaks into the skin. Um, especially for some picture taking. There we go. Now we're going to top this with some of that smudge free top coat from Bundle Monster. And as you can see, I didn't smear anything. I wasn't really worried about the gold polish smearing, but I was a little concerned about the black, but it did not smear. Here we go with my posh top coat. And you can see how that looks green and then it looks blue as I'm turning my fingers. It's just funny. I love these hollows. Jen did such a good job on this collection. Hi Woody. Cleaning up after me again, I see. So there it is. That is my manicure. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about this one. I always love hearing from you. Thanks for watching and until next time, be good to yourself.